Yo, 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 what the deal? This your boy X dot E dot L dot O. And today I'm gonna actually show you a VST that'll convert MIDI to audio and it's legit. It's like, it just makes it so much better. It's better than Melodyne. Yes, I said it. So let's get into it. And the best part about it is free. Let's go. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. DistroKid, we already know, the best way to get your music on all these streaming platforms. And for those who don't know, you can actually do splits inside of DistroKid. You can collab with other artists. It makes it so much easier to get everything done inside DistroKid. They know what their split is, you know what your split is, and everybody is satisfied with the split at the end, and they don't take any kind of commission from the sale of your music from any of these streaming platforms. So you get 100% of whatever you're putting out there. And that's what we want as artists. So with that being said, I have a link below in the description, 7% off of your first year with DistroKid. See you there. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk and this is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description where you can download these for free. Today I'm gonna to be talking about VST Neural Note. Uh, it's actually a free VST. You can get it from the GitHub site. I know, I know it's kind of weird, but uh, let me show you. All right, so the link below in the description should take you straight to this page. This is Neural Note, and it's inside of GitHub. And this is version one of it. So you have an option to download it for Mac as a VS3 or Windows as a VST3. So I downloaded the Windows one, and then I put the file that comes in there in my VST3 folder. That's it. Just put it in your VST folder and you're good to go. All right, so inside of Cakewalk here, all I did was add an audio track. So if you add an audio track, right? And you just go to the effects, you can add the effect in here and it's called Neuro Note. Or you can go to this Dr. Audio, which is right here. And it's the same thing here. So it's in the VST3 folder. So if you have your VST folder set up inside a Cakewalk or any DAW, it should be able to find it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna find a sample to use in here. I'm gonna use some cymatic samples. I'm gonna grab this guitar over here and just drag it into Cakewalk just so you guys can kind of hear what it would sound like. Right, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it at the four bar mark just so as the video is not too long. So I'm gonna split it here, and I'm gonna remove this back end here. All right. So now we have a sample here. So I'm gonna pull up this neural note. I'm gonna drag this into neural note, and boom, we have that sample in here. And now, as you can see on the transcript, it gives you an option to change the note sensibility, the split and the note duration. Um, you can have it on pitch bin. I'm gonna take this off though. I don't want it to pitch bin. I'm gonna leave the scale off of it. I'm not gonna mess with the scale. So uh, let's see how good it actually comes out. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up here to the plus sign. I'm gonna add an instrument and I'm gonna do is use this vinyl guitar. All right, so we have a vinyl guitar inside here. I'm just gonna drag where it says drag the MIDI file from here. So I'm just gonna click on here and drag it into Cakewalk. I'm gonna close this out and I'm going to mute this one. And let's see how it sounds. Uh, that's not bad at all. That is actually not bad at all. As you see, it's trying to catch all the notes in here. Uh, and there are some notes that are probably not here, like this one here is probably not in there. Maybe even this one here. But as you see, it actually pulls out the whole entire chord, which is actually pretty cool. So you can kind of get a gist of what you're actually converting to MIDI, all right? And this is called Neural Note. And like I said, you could change like your uh, key if you wanted to. So if I wanted to make this into an E, and adjust everything and change it to, let's say, a minor or a major. Uh, you see the notes moved on there when you change from minor to major. 
change some of the notes on here. And basically, let's, um, I'm going to delete this one. And let's see how that one sounds. I'm going to drag this up onto the track. Let's hear how that one sounds. All right, so now you have an option to even change your notes and keys when you actually have an audio file in here. I think this is, could be a definite game changer if you're not sure what your sample is in or how they actually play the sample, this should actually help you out a lot. I think it's a lot better than the Melodyne one that was in there because that one only plays one note at a time where this one is actually showing you like pretty much chords that's actually being played uh, by these audio, by the audio itself. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. Definitely go check it out. And once again, it's your boy, X.E.L.O. Till next time, people. Peace.